بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو رحمان ڈیجیٹل پروڈکشن دس از لیکچر نمبر سکس آف میتھمیٹکس فورٹی ٹوینٹی فور وی ڈیڈ کوشچن نمبر الیون ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو دیٹ سیکوینس اینڈ وی ویل ڈو کوشچن نمبر تھرٹین لیٹ اس فرسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دا کوشچن It is said that if you are understanding the question very well, then it means that you are well on your way to solve the question. Understanding the question is half of the solution. So let us understand the question. But before that, I request you people to subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon so that you will be immediately informed when I upload the new video. So let's understand the question and that question is given on the page number 22. Question number 12 is saying Katie wishes to cut some squares from a vanguard sheet. Uh, there is a sheet. of vanguard and Katie want to cut pieces of it. The length of this sheet is given is a uh, 64 centimeter length. 64 centimeter is the length. and its breadth is 48 cm 48 cm these are the dimensions of this vanguard sheet and katie want to cut pieces from some squares from it uh, she likes the squares to be as big as possible and she doesn't want any left over vanguard sheet and if she want to cut the pieces like this from it is big one not small small but she doesn't want that some left over part should be there so the question is saying that number one part what is the length of each square what is the length of each square this is the first part so let us solve it what is the length of each square this is the length and they want that what will be the length of each square she want to cut it so first of all we have to find the hcf 64 hcf is it is divisible by 2 to 3 are 6 to 2 are 4 to 1 are 2 to 6 are 12 to 8s are 16 to 4s are 8 to 2s are 4 and to 1s are 2 so it means that this is equal to 2 raised to the power 6 because 1 2 3 4 5 6 twos are there now we have to find the uh, factorization of 48 and let's do it 48 is divisible by 2 and you understand it very well 2 2 is 4 2 4 is 8 2 1 is and 2 2 is 2 6 is and 2 3 is and then 3 1 is so it means that 2 raised to the power 4 into 3 
now hcf of 64 and 48 is 2 raised to the power 4 because 2 raised to the power 4 is here and in 2 raised to the power 6, 2 raised to the power 4 is also there. So, 2 raised to the power 4 means that you have to multiply 2 4 times and that is 16. So, the length of each square, the length of each square must be 16 centimeter. It must be 16 centimeter. Okay. That was the first part and the second part is saying that uh, how many squares can be cut all together? Uh, how many squares can be cut all together? Ladies and gentlemen, because the length is 16, so we have to divide 64 length 64 divide by 16 and width is 48 divide by 16. So, this is 4 and this is 3. So, when we multiply 4 by 3, it will be 12. So, 12 squares can be cut all together all to gather and there will be no leftover sheet in this particular case. Okay, now we are turning our focus to question number 13. Let us first understand the question. Let us first understand the question. Let us understand question number 13. A class has between 30 to 40 students. This is very important piece of information. A class has between 30 to 40 students. Remember this. Each boy in the class brings 15 chocolates bar. For a class party to celebrate teacher's day. The chocolate bars are shared equally among the 20 girls of the class. And their form teacher with no leftover. Yes. The boys brought 15 chocolates. Not the girls. There are girls and they have to distribute these those 15 chocolates amongst the girls and the farm teacher. The first part is saying, is asking actually how many, how many students are there in the class? Are there in the class. How many students are there in the class? Let us solve the question. You know, ladies and gentlemen, that if we do not know in advance that how many things are there, then we have to take it as x or n. So, we are supposing let 
us suppose that there are n students in the class we have to find the value of that n and that will be the answer of part number 1 so let us suppose this if there are n students and each 50 each of the boy is bringing 15 chocolates then it will become n multiplied by 15 then 15 multiplied by then 15 multiplied by n is divisible by is divisible by 3 into 5 into n because the factorization of 3 and 15 3 and 5 this is 15 so 3 5s are 15 3 5s are 15 15 multiplied by n is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 by n if you factorize this 15 So fifteen multiplied by n, yeah, three multiplied by five multiplied by n is divisible by twenty one n, which is equal to three into seven. You can write it like this: twenty one. Why we took twenty one from where this twenty one came? Because there are twenty girls and one farm master. So there are twenty one people. Hence, so. n is the multiple of 7 multiple of 7 because 3 7 means 3 is the multiple of 7 ya 4 is the multiple of 7 ya 5 is the multiple of 7 so because 3 and 3 is common here so we are saying that this 3 is the multiple of 7 hence n is equal to 14 because 2 multiplied by 7 2 multiplied by 7 is equal to 14 3 multiplied by 7 is equal to 21 Four multiplied by seven is equal to twenty-eight, and so on. We are taking n is equal to fourteen. So twenty plus fourteen is equal to thirty-four. There are thirty-four students in the class. if we are putting other values 21 and 28 then it increases from 40 at the beginning i told you ladies and gentlemen that remember that the students are between 30 and 40 so if we are putting 21 here uh, uh, 21 instead of 14 it will become 41 which is not 
the the question is telling us so there are there are 34 students in the class students in the class okay that was the first part what the second part is saying the second part is saying that how many chocolate bar how many chocolates bar does their form teacher receive how many chocolates bars chocolate bars does their form does their form teacher receive and that is the question number of chocolates bar their teachers i am saying that number of bars their form teacher form teacher re receive receives is equal to 15 multiplied by 14 divided by 21 which is equal to 10 so their form master receive the 10 chocolate bars that was the whole story about the question number 13 Okay, now we are turning our focus to question number 14. Question number 14 is saying, Michael is an art elective program student who is working on an assignment. He plans to cover a rectangular sheet of paper of dimensions 126 centimeter by 108 centimeter remember that there is a sheet of paper he has to cover this sheet of paper but the dimensions are given to us and that is 120 this is 126 centimeter by 108 centimeter 108 centimeter with identical square patterns what is the least number of square pattern that could be formed on the sheet of paper what are the number of square from this sheet of paper he can cover, Michael can cover. Let us factorize 126. 126, 2, 6, zer and 2, 3, zer then 3 2 zer and 3 1 zer then 3 7 zer and then 7 1 zer so it means 2 multiplied by 3 square into 7 are the factors of 128 similarly 108 because the second dimension is 108 so 108 we are factorizing it to 5s are 10 and to 4s are 8 2 2s are 4 to 7s are 3 uh, 
थ्री नाइन जर एंड देन थ्री थ्री जर एंड देन थ्री वन जर सो इट मीन्स दैट टू रेस टू द पावर टू इन टू थ्री रेस टू द पावर थ्री एंड नथिंग एल्स वट इज द कॉमन इन साइड दिस टू एंड वट इज द कॉमन इन साइड दिस थ्री रेस टू द पावर टू so 2 into 9 is equal to 18 and that is the answer uh, length of each square must be 18 cm so length of each square must be 18 cm now the second part is saying that uh how do you determine what other shapes can be can the patterns be if they are to fit the sheet of paper perfectly explain your answer but before that that how many in the first part we have to find 18 is there so 1 26 divide by 18 multiplied by 1 08 divide by 18 so from here it is coming 7 and from here it is coming 6 so 42 squares can be covered from this 42 squares okay now let us turn our focus to part number 2 let us talk about the part number 2 part number 2 is saying that how do you determine you learn that so let us see that what other if there is a square for example these can be cutted like this equal and equal but what other shapes can be cut so it can be if we are cutting it like this yani first will be this rectangle and the second will be this rectangle so square if we are cutting it in rectangular shape uh, sorry triangular shape then it can also be fitted like this we can cut it like this and then again it will be what other shape if we are cutting it in the form of rectangle yes it can be cutted as well so if we increase the size like this so it means rectangular shape can also be fit inside this sheet this is the second the third one is trapezium for example if we are this is the square and we are cutting this square in the form of a trapezium trapezium means that if there will be two parallel and two non parallel sides so you can take this rectangle here this rectangle here and this trapezium so there are three shapes this is the answer of part number 2 there are three shapes
यानी ट्रायंगल रेक्टेंगल एंड ट्रिपेजियम दैट कैन कवर दीट so that was the second part of this quest, uh, question now we are turning our focus to question number 15 and let us first understand it okay the question is saying michael the art electro program student is working on another assignment he designs a rectangular pattern measuring 45 mm and 42 mm he is required to use identical rectangular patterns to form a square the maximum area of the square allowed is 1.6 m square how many pattern does the first part is saying how many pattern does he need to form the smallest square the smallest means we have to find the lcm so question number 15 and we have to find the lcm of first 45 and 42 45 and 42 first of all we have to do on the 45 then we are doing it 315 3 sir again we are doing it with 5 and 7 again we will do it by 5 and 7 and then again we will do it by 7 and 1 we have to multiply all these lcm of 45 and 42 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 and let us do it on the calculator uh i am doing it is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 and that is equal to 630 you can see that it is equal to 630 now <coughs> 630 number of patterns form by the smallest square so we have to divide this 630 by 45 630 by 45 multiplied by 630 divided by 42 now if we multiply 630 divided by 45 then it is 14 multiplied by then 630 divided by 42 and that is equal to 15 now when we multiply 14 multiplied by 15 so it is equal to 210 and that is the answer and in the number of uh, patterns needed to form the smallest square are 210 okay the second part is saying that what are the dimensions of the largest square that can be formed 
we found that 6 this is the second part I am doing it here you can write it wherever you want. So, according to the question 630 millimeter is equal to 0 0.63 meter 0 0.63 meter now area of the square is meter square so we have to take it is 0 0.63 square and that is the area of the smallest square that can be formed area of the smallest square that can be formed is equal to this one and when I take 0 0.63 square it becomes 0 0.3969 that is equal to 0 0.3969 meter square. Now there is a method which is called trial and error that is a special method <coughs> sorry that is a special method for uh, testing if there is an error again test it if there is an error again test that and test it until you got the required answer so that method is called by trial and error by I am writing it for you by trial and error process we are writing that area of the largest square that can be found area of the largest square that can be find, found and that is given to us 0 point this one is equal to 0 0.3969 into 2 square into 2 square and when I calculate it it is less than uh, it comes out to be 1.5 1 1.5876 which is less than so 1.5 8, 7, 6 which is smaller than then this is the answer and then we have to take the square root 1 point 1 1.5 7, 6 and under the root 1.5 8 7 6 and that is equal to 1.26 which is equal to 1.26 meter and that is the answer area of the largest square that can be found is 1.26 meter uh, with this, 
today's lecture as well as the chapter is finished tomorrow we will start the new chapter for that you have to uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't yet and press the bell icon so you don't miss the next lecture thank you very much for uh, seeing my lecture hope to see you soon allah hafiz